What's up, everybody? Master King Chef J Rod is back, back better than ever, and I appreciate you guys for hanging in there while I was away. We have a special treat for you guys today. Today we're going to be making a meatloaf, but y'all know me by now. Not just any meatloaf. It's going to be a mac and cheese stuffed meatloaf. Yes. And I'm going to wrap it with bacon and I'm going to top it with a nice barbecue sauce. So if I was you guys, I would not go anywhere. So I have some oil in the pan. I'm going to add some. That's red pepper, green pepper, and onions. All right. And I just want to sweat that a little bit. And I'm also going to add some diced carrots to that. Okay. I'm going to sweat that a little bit. Now this takes about maybe three minutes because I want to get the vegetables nice and soft. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper to this. And I'm gonna saute this for about three minutes and then we're gonna add it to my meatloaf. We let our vegetables sweat for about five minutes and they're resting. While those vegetables are resting, right here if you look, I have some ground sirloin, all right? Ground sirloin and then I also have some ground turkey because we're making a meatloaf, okay? So what I'm gonna do to that is gonna add some oregano to that and gonna add some dried parsley to that, about a tablespoon. I'm gonna add some dried thyme to that, about a tablespoon, and some dried basil, okay? Now, I'm gonna also add some bacon bits to that, some sharp cheddar cheese to that. Right here, if you look, I have a garlic paste. Now, you can roast your own garlic and paste it yourself, but, you know, I wanna take a little shortcut, add a little bit of garlic paste to that. That's gonna give it a nice flavor, great flavor. Remember, guys, we are always building flavors, okay? Now, I didn't tell you guys, but while I've been away, I've become a Pampered Chef consultant, okay? There's some product that I have that I'm gonna to demonstrate to you guys that works wonders in your kitchen. And if I can do it, you guys can do it. And I'm going to be leaving a link below for you guys to go into my Pembroke Chef website, website and shop away, okay? Now, here are some of the spices that Pembroke Chef has. This is a Chipotle rub. It is so good. I almost put it on everything. I'm going to add that to my meatloaf, okay? Also, they also have a smoky applewood rub. This is by far my favorite. It goes on chicken, steak, shrimp, I put that on almost anything. I'm gonna add a little of that to it, okay? And then I'm gonna add a little Old Bay seasoning. Now, a lot of people think Old Bay seasoning is just for seafood, but that is not so. You can put Old Bay seasoning on every, everything and it enhances the flavor, okay? Now, I'm gonna crack an egg, add that to my meatloaf, okay? One egg is enough, okay? Then I took some honey wheat bread, remember guys, we're always building flavor. So I took the honey wheat bread, two pieces, and I, I'm adding that to my meatloaf, okay? I have a little bit of A1 steak sauce, about a tablespoon I'm gonna add, okay? And then a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, okay? Now, the trick is to mix this very well, but I'm not done adding things yet, okay? My kids were eating some, some goldfish the other day, and I just kept eating them. I'm like, oh, these are really well. These taste really good. What can I use this for? So I took some, uh, I'm gonna take some of these goldfish and I'm gonna grind it and use it as a breadcrumb, okay? Now, about the Pamper Chef thing, this is called a manual food processor, okay? Now, a lot of people are intimidated by food processors because you have to plug them up and they make a lot of noise. But with this one, you do all the work with your hand. So, I'm gonna take some of my kids' goldfish. If they saw me doing this, they would have a fit, right? And then I'm gonna take this, put it on here, turn it, and then I just crunch away. And it's gonna grind, it's gonna grind up my goldfish. And that's what it looks like after it's grinded up. I'm gonna add some of that. That's gonna be really good. All right, so I take that to the side. And don't forget about the vegetables that we saute, okay? Those vegetables are gonna make so much flavor in this meatloaf. Like I said before, guys, we are always building flavors. Man, one of my favorite things my mom used to make 
was meatloaf. I'll come home from school and I could just smell the meatloaf in the oven. And that was one thing I could look and say, man, I cannot wait till my mom make meatloaf. So it's one of my favorite meals. And I was wondering how I can, you know, make this meatloaf better or change it a little. So I decided to stuff it with some mac and cheese and wrap it with bacon. You guys stick around. I'm gonna mix this up. Do not go anywhere. All right, so after we mix it up well, okay, you gotta get yourself a nice surface, preferably a half sheet pan or any kind of pan. And you wanna line it, maybe with parchment paper, or aluminum foil, or plastic wrap. And then you just take the meatloaf stuff in there, and then you put it right on here, okay? Now, here's the fun part. We're gonna press it out. We're gonna press it out, maybe to a quarter inch thick. All right, as much as you can, we're gonna press it out. All right, so after I flattened it out a little, I took the sheet pan off, okay? Now I'm getting ready to stuff it with meatloaf. I mean with, I'm getting ready to stuff it with mac and cheese. So we're gonna take mac and cheese, and this is leftover mac and cheese, okay? I'm gonna line it with mac and cheese. Just like this. Now guys, remember, leave a border on the outside so when it folds over, it does not spill, okay? Nice mac and cheese right here. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit more cheese, okay? Yeah, just like that. And now I'm gonna roll this. Now, the steps you have to take, you have to take your time, okay? Cause you gotta do a little bit at a time. Take the foil, you go over. Okay, and then you continue to take the foil and go over. Once you get halfway, you close the center. All right, close the center. You close the edges, I'm sorry, close the edges. And then we just gonna keep going over. Once you get it to the shape you want, you just shape it the way you want it. Make sure the edges are closed. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap it with bacon. But look at this. How good does that look? So look at this gorgeous meatloaf. Now, I'm gonna hit it one more time right on top with a little bit more of that smoky apple wood rub, okay? And then you have all this left over, right? So you just take a knife, and you get rid of that. Okay, you get rid of that. And now, we're gonna wrap it with bacon. Now, people think this is hard, but it's really easy. Okay, take a slice of bacon, all right? And you start off right here, and when you put it in, make sure you tuck the bacon up under the meatloaf. That way, it stays whole, okay? That way the meatloaf and the bacon does not unwrap once the bacon starts cooking, okay? Now, once this starts cooking, the bacon is gonna release so much fat, and that fat and that flavor goes into the meatloaf, and it's gonna be so good. Again, you take the bacon, and you stick it under the edge, under the bottom. Make sure you crease that out, and then you just keep following this pattern until you completely cover the meatloaf. Now, I get a thin bacon. If you get a thick bacon, it'll take longer to cook and your meatloaf could possibly be dry. So make sure you get thin sliced bacon, okay? And I have a smoky apple with bacon. You can get a pepper bacon or apple with bacon, whatever type of bacon you like, all right? And we're just gonna follow this process. And as you can see, I'm overlapping one piece of bacon, bacon with the other piece of bacon, okay? so I can get nice, even slices when I cut it, all right? So inside this meatloaf, it's mac and cheese. And if you look in here, you can see the cheese, you can see the bacon, you can see the peppers. It's full of herbs and spices, and that smoky apple wood and that Cajun rub. It's gonna be so good, guys. So I'm gonna finish this, and then I'll show you guys uh, 
what it looks like before I put it in the oven. Hey, don't go anywhere. I need somebody to help me eat this thing. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, so this is exactly what we are looking at. This baby is seasoned well. It's stuffed with mac and cheese. It's wrapped in bacon. Okay, so right now I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So we're getting ready to make our sauce that go on top of that meatloaf. But guys, I told you about my Pamper Chef, but I also have a website, yes. Your boy's been putting in work while he's been away. My website is www.masterkingchefjrod.com. Look at the link below. We will have it there for you and check out my website. So let's go into making the, the sauce. Okay, you guys know from my former videos, one of my favorite sauces, a barbecue sauces, is a sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put about a cup of that in the pot, okay? Now, I'm gonna take some sweet chili sauce. You can find this at any of your local grocery stores or your supermarket. You're gonna add a couple of that, equal parts, okay? And then just to round it out, because I know y'all, some of y'all are old school and you can't have meatloaf without ketchup. I have some curry ketchup right here. I'm just gonna add about two tablespoons of that, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do is warm this up and let it all come together. And when my meatloaf is ready and my bacon is bubbling, I'm going to spread this over the top of the meatloaf and put the meatloaf back in the oven for another three to four minutes to let that bacon caramelize this sauce. So, you guys, if I was you, don't go nowhere. Look at that baby right there. Oh man, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do, right, I'm gonna set this down right here. Okay, really careful. And then I'm gonna glaze it with that barbecue sauce. All right, I'm gonna just pour it on here. Okay. And then I'm gonna brush it evenly. And then this is gonna go back in the oven for another five minutes. So this sauce can caramelize on this meatloaf. Man, how good does that look? If you guys can smell this right now, It'll make you want to go slap your mama. Don't go slap your mama though, but man, it smells so good. Wow. Got that bacon wrapped on there. It's stuffed with mac and cheese with my sriracha, sweet chili, chipotle, barbecue sauce. Oh man. Now I'm gonna let that go back in the oven for five minutes and then we're gonna let it rest. And then we're gonna enjoy Chef J. Rod's bacon wrap, mac and cheese stuffed meatloaf. Bet you never had that before. Mm -mm -mm. This time I'm gonna put the oven on broil. Just so it can caramelize. So broil for two minutes on broil. And I'll be right back in two minutes. So excited because our two minutes are up. And let's see what we got going in the oven. Oh, look how that caramelized. Wow. Check this out. It's sizzling. You know what that means, right? That means we are really cooking in here. Very important not to cut this right away. Anytime you bring anything out of the oven, whether it's steak, turkey, a chicken, please allow it to rest. If I was to cut this right now, the mac and cheese that's in the center of it, it's all happy and bubbly, it would just ooze out. That might be a good thing, but you wanna wait for at least 15 minutes, let everything settle in. So I'm gonna wait about 15 minutes. When I come back, I'm gonna cut this down the middle and gonna let you guys have a little bit of this uh, bacon wrap meatloaf. Wow. 
wow. I mean, wow. That's all I can say. So let's cut this bad baby open and see what we got going down the middle of this mac and cheese barbecue bacon wrap meatloaf. Wow, guys, take a look at that. It does not get any better than that. You can see the peppers and the onions and the stuff with mac and cheese, the bacon, the carrots. It has cheese and bacon inside the meatloaf. And then I wrapped it in bacon, glaze it with the sauce, man. It does not get any better than that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little piece off the edge because you know I gotta taste it, right? So let's take a little piece off the edge. Mm. Wow. This is full of flavor. This is flavor town in your mouth. You can taste the herbs, the herbs that we put in here. The sweetness of the bacon. The cheese is nice and moist. And then let me get a little piece of this mac and cheese right here. Mm. The bacon is sweet and it's finished with that sauce. Wow. You guys already know. That is fire right there. That is straight fire. Remember guys, check me out on my website. www.masterkingchefjrod.com Okay? Always put God first in your life and everything will fall into place. Thank you guys for watching and God bless. I'm getting ready to go back into this meal.